Hello. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. For the past three weeks, uh, I caught a certain sickness that's been going around since pretty much uh, 2019. And it got me to thinking because at the same time I had another infection. Uh, I'd had a tooth break off up in my head and it was in my sinus cavity. And uh, it got really bad infected and it was when I was at the doctor about the uh, infection is when I found out that I had COVID. And the problem that we had after that, uh, what what made the um, the 19 disease worse was, they told me I couldn't take treatment for both. That I either had to take the treatment for um, the infection, which would weaken my body, my natural responses for the, for the other. And um, so I was like, well, you know, I'm gonna have to have the tooth pulled in a week or two, um, and they won't do it if there's an infection. So, um, yeah, that was a, a bad choice uh, because then I ended up with the, not only COVID, but uh, COVID pneumonia. And it was about a three, three and a half week fight. Uh, I lost 16 pounds in eight days. Um, but anyway, I had a lot of time to think over that three weeks, and um, I went out as soon as I got better, and I updated my kid a little bit. Um, infections are bad. Uh, my infection came in a bad time, and uh, I'd done a video last year in February or so where I had busted my leg up pretty good, and uh, it ended up getting infected because I didn't have the right stuff with me. So... Um, try to keep this video around five minutes or so and there's some extra things out here because I'm gonna shoot another video right after this um, but yeah I wanted to go over the infection part of it um, there's a quick video in, in my channel here of the hole in my leg and everyone who's seen my other bag knows that I carry you know a basic boo-boo kit uh, some Tylenol Advil um, iodine and uh, the neosporin but what i come to find out was i didn't pay much attention in the neosporin that was in my boo-boo kit was the pain relief neosporin it was not the triple antibiotic it was pain relief and three weeks later i had a pretty bad infection in my leg so um i wanted to update my kit and i wanted to update the videos and i'm going to show you a way uh, that if you ever end up with a hole in yourself um, you've got to clean it out you've got to clean it out better than I did in the video um, so here's a couple of little cheap things that I found uh, I found because well they prescribed them at the hospital and this is what they used uh, so cleaning the wound and irrigating the wound the first thing is these are a dollar eighty a piece I went to Carolina apothecary Get it turned up right for you here. You can read what it is. These are gauze strips and they're soaked in petroleum jelly and they also have that bismuth in it, 3%, uh, which will stop microbes and uh, biological little boogers uh, from spreading. And this can go right over top of the holes that you have placed in your body uh, unintentionally. Um, I will download a picture of what this looks like. It's uh, it's just gauze and it's in Vaseline and it's been infused um, with the antimicrobial. This was a dollar and 80 cent for a pack. It's very thin, it doesn't weigh anything, a couple of ounces. And these are just iodine swabs. 69 cent as you can see like I said I, I I didn't find these at a pharmacy I went to uh, in my town there's Carolina apothecary and they carry stuff like this uh, just three iodine swabs so you take these rub them inside the wound and then cover it with this so there's enough here for two sets and I'll put one in each bag and then, while I was there, I thought about irrigation. Uh, how do we irrigate it? Uh, so I picked up 
a rather large bottle of sealed sanitary saline you know salt uh, salt kills the bacteria also and then I picked up a separate bottle that's never been opened uh, of some pretty good iodine and in my water kit that's in there anyway you have this plunger here that comes with your saw your minis and you just I've already tried it you just fill it up here with your water uh, sterile water you can use your canteen cup if you don't have sterile water but that's why I have this and you just fill it up with this for every one of these you fill up is 10 drops of the iodine shake it around mix it up then you can just irrigate the wound on your arm your leg whatever uh, and then the next mistake I made was out in the field I used the muslin wrap so this is the muslin wrap the size it comes in I think I paid three dollars for this at uh, old charges down at uh, Spring Lake Fort Bragg and I wrapped it around this but it's not sterile as you can see it's not vacuum sealed uh, the reason I like these is this strap here can be used as a sling it can go all the way around you um, for a chest wound, hip, shoulder, and then once you start tying this off, you can put some sort of windlass in it right over top and twist it so it also has a tourniquet type effect. Uh, but it's not sterile. It's not sterile like the Israeli is sterile. Uh, so I actually carry one of these now because I'd taken that out of my kit at the time because I could get three to four of these in the same space and uh, so one of these is back in the in the kit now but another way to get uh, saline water is every single MRE pack comes with the little condiments section it's got gum some of them have a pack of matches uh, drink flavoring every single one of them has salt in it and it's a pretty big salt pack there's a reason for that salt being in there if you take your canteen cup and heat it up that pack of salt is exactly the right amount of salt you know you don't want to overfill your cup somewhere down in there uh, that's enough salt to make a sterile saline solution uh, it'll be too hot but then you can take your plunger in there and you have a saline solution with salt or that is saline my bad and you can irrigate open wounds so this video is getting a little longer than what I thought um, but I'm gonna clean it up and stop and because uh, I want to reshoot on the bags uh, some discoveries that I made on the on the bags that everyone likes so anyway uh, irrigating these wounds and cleaning them out really well uh, will stop the infection and like I said uh, with the situation that I just went through having an infection and a virus and couldn't treat but one that left either one of them open to uh, do serious damage to my body so um, infection is something we got to look out a little better for anyway uh, thanks for your time um, I'm just gonna shoot up another little quick video bag update and I'll get this one uploaded and I will use a thumbnail to show the picture of what these look like uh, opened. Thank you.